fell down. Just keep put your hands up when it comes around. All right. Good afternoon. <laughs> um, great practice out there today. 14. Um, you know, I've been different places. 14. Practice 14 the day before. Or, the practice before the spring game uh, a lot of times um, you know a practice that's low-key and uh, you know maybe a couple of situational things uh, you know, that you're working on uh, sometimes even just helmets and spiders but uh, our guys we went uh, with shells and and got after it you know uh, got after it for a couple hours just a full-fledged practice um, obviously not tackling and uh, just shells but really good work by our guys uh, competitive uh, got a chance and Switched it up a little bit, uh, ones versus twos, twos versus ones, and uh, the neat thing is, is uh, you know those those twos, uh, you know, playing playing good and playing well, and uh, you know wanting to prove uh, you know how far they've come along and uh, did some nice things today in practice. So extremely competitive uh, across the board. Uh, the rest of the practice was what we generally do: ones versus ones, twos versus twos. But uh, a good day. So. Um, Format for the spring game will be, you know, an offense versus defense. We won't have divided teams. Of, you know, a couple of reasons. Number one, I like to look at it as a as number practice number 15. Um, we'll see a lot of great scrimmaging out there, but you know, it's a chance for us to get better. It's a chance for us to take a next step. A chance for us to evaluate as well, and so um, try to really get down to the bare bones of playing some football. Um, you know, it gives us a chance to really also celebrate uh, what, what we're doing and where we're at and uh, enjoy the moment with the fans. And so excited to see a packed uh, stadium there and uh, looking forward to seeing everyone come and uh, support uh, you know, our program. So um, any questions? We'll start here, Charlie. Hey, Coach. Um, what's the biggest area of growth maybe you've seen from this team from practice one to practice 14? I think uh, just the competitive stamina that we've continued to show. Uh, you know, it's easy to come out practice one. It's easy to come out after you get back from spring break. Uh, but for us to just continue to stay the course, and that, that's reminiscent of what I've said early, you know, when I first got here, the guys decided to, to stay, uh, work through it, believe in this place. Uh, but they've uh, they just continued to work. And I kind of hit on that uh, and coming in with an opening here today just because um, it was just impressive to me. Nothing where we're coasting into these last uh, 48 hours leading up to Saturday. They came out here, uh, worked, wanted to continue to play ball, um, you know, by asking for one more drive and all that kind of stuff. Uh, they're just in, enjoying the process, enjoying the steps. So um, I think that competitive stamina, you know, just continuing to to uh, get better and focus on, on the right things there. Chase, I see you guys. Uh, the Spring portal, of course, opens on Monday. Have you identified any areas where you might like to add some depth? Yeah, I would say, you know, naturally, if you just, I mean, you guys can look at our roster and see uh, scholarship numbers, and then you guys tr all track it. Um, you know, I'd say in the defensive backfield, um, we're probably a, a guy shorter, so um, offensive line, probably a guy, you know, short, um, you know, and just uh, from the numbers that you typically would see and also, you know, where we want to be, so. Not saying uh, we'll, we'll take you know take a look and evaluate. Uh, and then, you know, but no, there might be some guys that uh, you know from uh, from our roster um, you know surprise us as well. So um, you know, we just got to continue to be fluid, be be ready to adjust, and um, you know, continue to keep our eyes open for uh, what's out there when that time comes. Nick, right here in the front. Yeah, I was just wondering if you could kind of elaborate on what's going on with Parker and what his availability might be for the game this weekend. Yeah, right now I wouldn't plan on him uh, being in just uh, with the limited practice that he's had uh, throughout the spring, and um, and he, he didn't practice today, so you know I, I would be putting him out there in that spot. But uh, he'll be he'll be with us here sooner than later, uh, maybe the regular workouts, and um, he's doing all the things uh, you know to to make sure he's he's ready to go. Okay. You already talked about the format of AA changing a little bit. I saw a video where you were asked about tunnel music and then the players earlier this week were talking about the Steak and Bean Center. Just kind of how are you balancing honoring tradition while also kind of making your, doing things your own way? I'm laughing because when I talk to the guys about uh, the steak uh, dinner and the, I refer to it as, uh, what did I say, beanies and weenies, that's something that's good, that slip of the tongue. And so, the, of course, we had a good little laugh out there on the field, but, uh, yeah, I mean, there's some traditions that the guys certainly bring up that um, have been important, uh, that they feel strong about, and you know, I'm 
still learning some of those uh, things that haven't maybe come up yet. You know, you're still learning some of those really neat things that uh, are important to these guys because it's happened in the program for many years. Stay over there with John. Hey, Coach, I had two if I could. One, what has been the buy-in like? That seems even more important than ever with the transfer portal for a new coach. What's that been like overall for this team? Yeah, I think it's, I mean, I think you used the right word, I think, uh, buying in, um, because I think it's continued to be a process. Um, someone asked me that question, uh, um, you know, a few times, and I, you know, said, hey, have they bought in? And I, I don't, I don't think we're, I know we're not to that point yet. Um, I like where we're at, and I like the, the mindset and, and the effort they're putting into the buying in of what we're trying to do. But uh, this whole piece, this whole thing we're, we're on right now, this journey uh, is about the process. And um, I really feel like they are buying in. Uh, but when, you know, you're talking about 100, 100 close to 120 players, um, I'm sure there's some guys that are still trying to feel it out and trying to figure out uh, their role. And uh, whether it's because of the schemes we run or whatever it might be, um, the depth chart, um, trying to figure all that out. So. I think I feel great about overall, just generally speaking, both sides of the ball, all phases, um, and the team in general. Uh, there's some the leaders that have really done a great job, especially early on in, in January, February, of uh, you know staying the course. And I think uh, a lot of guys have just followed along, and so it's been great. The staff, uh, you know, getting to know the guys and really focusing on the relationships, and our players appreciating that uh, as we teach them the game, and uh, they learn you know, what we're wanting to do. Uh, in all the areas of, of, the, of our of our team. And the second one, Coach Ed, what what was the decision making process at Washington when you had a, a guy who was charged with some serious crimes playing the playoffs? Oh yeah, I mean I, re I released a statement. I understand there's more to it down the road, but I can't really comment on that right now. or don't have anything to add. Come over here to Nick. Yeah, with the, the portal opening Monday, what is the message to your team in terms of how they approach A day and just practices wrapping up in the spring? Um, you know, I, I guess anything I would say to them would be in regards to the date of the portal coming up. Um, it would just be about us taking the next step and focusing on themselves and our team uh, and getting better. You know, on Saturday and you know, and also enjoying. Uh, everything that comes along with a day the the hype and the the, the celebration uh, all of that Tony what qualities do you want to see in an X receiver in the X receiver position are you comfortable with the options you have especially after dealing got hurt mm -hmm. yeah I think um, you know all our guys are very per we would like for them to be very personal um, so you know an X receiver I know what we think of him is in a lot of cases, a lot of offense being the outside guy for us. Uh, you know, you'd love to have that guy who can isolate one on one uh, individual routes uh, on the backside, maybe of a three by one formation, and the guy who can take the top off. Um, you know, but uh, you know, that's the guy in our offense also. If he's got the skill set, he can move inside, and we can we can get him the slot. And that's what our system allows. Uh, uh, you know, our our staff to do is is move guys around. Um, cater to their strengths, find a way to get those matchups. Um, you know, I think each receiver, you know, yes, we kind of slot them into a position. And, uh, for us, we call it the H, X, and Z. Uh, but, you know, there comes a point in time, too, where we're just going to get them in the right spots, especially in the critical moments and the times where we got to get certain people the ball, you know, to convert third downs to score in the red zone, whatever those, uh, those times might be. All right. Hey, Coach. Um, you spoke briefly about the players and their competitive nature. How would you assess the staff and what they've contributed to creating that competitive balance in practice in their fields and your fields going into A day and their with their energy? Yeah, a great question. Um, I think there's a couple things. Uh, they're they're just continue to do a great job of pushing uh, their position groups, their side of the ball, their face. Um, you know, continue to adjust. Uh, you know, there's. There's a there's a, a push that we want, but also there's a time when you gotta at different points in the spring kind of peel back, uh, maybe a day, um, you know, try to re rerun or reload some plays uh, in a practice to continue to work on them more uh, than maybe what you anticipated. Um, some concepts these guys are familiar with because they ran these concepts many times before we got here, you know, and some uh, maybe they're just a little different or um, tweaked a little bit or something completely new. So. Uh, you know, we adjust, and I think the staff's done an awesome job of 
balancing um, putting the pedal down, building the relationships. Um, they're super competitive. Uh, they have fun uh, jabbing each other and each other the ball when that time comes up. I saw it again today. And I think that 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 you know competitiveness mixed with the balance of out there enjoying the moment is something that our players see and it trickles down to them. And it's not just on the field, it's off the field. It's around the offices, meeting rooms, you know, whenever we're together. Two more quick points, Matt and then Coach. Do you still need as much as you used to out of spring football in the spring game, given how much the roster can change with the portal window? Did you say get get as much out of? Yeah. Um, do we get as much out of, let's well, say it again. Do you get as much out of spring football as a whole with that portal window now coming around? Oh, after? oh yeah, I definitely think so. I mean, you know, a lot of guys still getting their reps and, you know, our install um, that we kind of have. I mean, you know, I, I remember Kane's install from a couple of years back, and um, I think he's, you know, doing very similar, maybe even more, uh, just uh, than what, what I remember at that time. And so, uh, offensively, you know, it's full steam ahead. So, uh, it's, you know, I think, yeah, I think the guys have done a good job. I don't think we really wavered, and it would definitely not be because we're, you know, thinking about anything that the portal might come into play with. Finish with Cody. I know you're probably paying attention to everybody, but is there a position group or two that has maybe impressed you more than others through the first 14 practices? Um, I think um, impressed would probably be uh, kind of related to maybe where you felt like you were a little bit younger. And so, you know, impressed, there's a couple things, right? The guys, this, the, side, the size of the ball or the position groups that have the veterans, you expect them to go out there and get it done, you know? and so. Um, really like uh, you know some things that are happening up front, you know, defensive line wise. But uh, I also think that defensive back wise, there's some young guys that have just grown. And so I'm impressed with some individual play, uh, considering how old and how, how young they are. Um, and I think uh, you know the running backs. Uh, we got some some strong running backs in there that uh, just are really steady. Uh, and then. You know, on offense, uh, kind of picking picking two on each side. I mean, the, the quarterback. I mean, just the number of quarterbacks that we have that you would feel comfortable putting out in a football game. Um, I mean, really, all four of them. You know, and they they are extremely solid, uh, doing a great job with their accuracy, their reads, uh, competitiveness. I mean, just um, picking things up uh, each and every day. Uh, that that group has done a really good job from from I don't want to even say top to bottom, just across the board. All right, coach. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Roll tight. Thank you.